Well, this should be a fun one on the ice tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Samalski for EA Sports. We get set to drop the puck on a little hut. Well, the moment of truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. And we are officially underway here. On the attack along the boards. shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence and screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him, because he can't see it. Boston's aggressive start has led to a quick lead in this one. Yeah, urgency, fast feet, and aggressive, and because of it, they are rewarded with that early goal. And he takes the feed. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Boston's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Boston's had the shot advantages and they also have the lead. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Too much congestion in front. Taken along the wall by Solani. And he puts that one aside with ease. Moves it around along the half wall. Now that goes off course on the body. Puck picked up by Schneider. Zuccarello's crossed the line and is on the attack now. And he's knocked off the puck there. He's got the puck. Puck saved. You've got to be better than that. Boston's got possession of the puck. Snapper from the slot. Made the stop on that play. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And they strike Peter once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They gotta find a way to continue with the pressure. Be relentless and try and get another one. But there's so much emphasis on winning face-off games, and this is why you get possession and you get a huge opportunity quick off the draw. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Boston's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Pedersen's won the draw at center. Kane's going to play it against the half wall. Takes a shot, and that's blocked. Grabs the puck in the corner. From the slot, wrist shot under siege, and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Boston's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first. Pedersen's won the draw and they're on the attack. Spectacular save on the play. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. Pedersen's won the draw. Takes a shot. won the face-off here in the offensive zone. And now it's turned away. Drives to the paint. There's another stop. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back-to-back. -back. Takes it at center. Look out. Here they come on the attack. And the save. Now a quick pass to Bishop. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And a big time save on a big time shot. The 
Wolves come up with the defensive zone draw. Curry's gained the line and on the attack. With possession along the wall. And he's able to handle that one. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Well past the midway mark of this period, Boston's got a 2-0 lead. The Wolves win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Stopped with ease. And that's knocked away by Seabrook. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Seabrook's loving the puck. Loses his balance on the play. Taken by Seabrook. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. From the O'Brien safety in the line. Swats it out of midair. Uses the boards with the bank pass. Drives it to the crease. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. Big stop by the keeper. Which out stick handling in his own zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Broken up by Coffey. Angles it over to Marchand. The Wolves pick up steam and are on the attack. Here's a chance! Scores! Brad Marchand! Wow, that's just a beautiful shot on the backhand, James. Didn't look like he had much space available, but the space he did have, he hit. The Wolves have come to play with some jump in their step tonight. Look at the shots on goal. They've generated an already lead comfortably nearing the end of the first. Goes right to the crease. Way too much congestion blocks that. The Wild have the puck in their own end. That opportunity is rejected. James, I mean, you're heavy on the forecheck, you're hounding the pucks, and you're not allowing your opponent to get anywhere. They're back on their heroes. You continue to wear them down. They cannot get a line change, and you make sure that you convert on the opportunity. That's just a great goal. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Boston's turned this into a blowout, now leading by four. And off the faceoff, they take possession. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Oh, and serves up a little too succeeded in that game plan already here late in the first. Pedersen's won the draw, now look to set up. Makes a save. Here's a backhander. Big save right at the end. That's it for period number one. Second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports.
Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second, because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Boston's in control. And scores! Deuces wild as that's his second of the game. Well, he's got two challenges on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the forecheck. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. Boston's on cruise control, or at least they should be, but they're still going full throttle, it looks like, out there. And sometimes when you get a huge lead like this, you can get a little cute with the puck and start making careless mistakes. Not happening. They've been intense, they've been crisp, and they've been executing. And he makes the easy save. Tried the corner, but it goes off the side of the net. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Boston's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. Gretzky's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. And he stopped that one. Shot turns it aside with the glove. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Wolves continue to lead here in the second period as they have been the busier team in the shot department, and it shows. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. And a nice save there as play continues. Scores off a skate and front right into the back of the net. Oh, this is a tough one, James. I've been there before. You're trying to defend in front of the net. Instead, it goes off. You're skating in it. Well, I'd say they're running out of options here, James. I mean, they took their starter out. They brought him in in relief. And unfortunately, just not getting the job done as that one goes by. You know who else is not getting the job done? The team in front of them. Boston's got a lot of skill on this roster, and we are seeing it in full effect. And we're only, what, halfway through this game here, period number two? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, the confidence of which the entire lineup is playing with is outstanding. The puck's on their stick. They're working their magic. They're manipulating their opponent, and they're filling the net. Teams are ready for the draw. The Lions been about to drop the puck. The Wolves win it. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh, a clutch save! Strong defensive effort. And he takes the dish. That knocks him off the puck. Puts it on that. And a great save! Grabbed along the board by Kane. Wins the iron! Boston's trying to increase their lead, and they're sitting pretty comfortable right now, just dominating possession in the offensive zone. This one wires right off the post. But nonetheless, they are always retreating and hounding the puck. Great game by them. Puck scooped up by Kane. Boston's in on the offensive attack now. Stopped by the goaltender. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Witchhouse moving the puck through his own zone. The Wolves gain control of the puck. Makes it look easy. Great positioning with the pad save. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Tries to the crease. Fantastic save. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive. He's competitive and he wins the battle. Made that stop. the shot more often, James. I mean, the back end, it is so difficult for the goaltender to read. The Wolves continue to hammer the accelerator here in the offensive zone tonight. They've been incredible almost through two periods of play here. I mean, their ozone possession time is dictating it all. The ability to get to the net and, of course, the motion on the outside. He scores! Batters up, eh, hey James? I mean, you look at that puck as it elevates. I just love the way that he's got his eyes on it the whole 
time he makes contact and he puts it in the net. Boston's got to be feeling good about their game tonight. I mean, they've just moved the puck around so effectively. Yeah, they've gotten in the offensive zone because of their speed through the neutral zone. They've gotten good entries, and then their puck possession in the offensive zone. I mean, it's been so difficult to take it away. It's been a string on their stick. They've been evasive. They've been elusive. And time and then when they get it they're finding something to do with it not just hanging out on the perimeter but attacking the net steps inside boston's got the puck along the wall and that carries off a body in the lane feeds the puck up to buckart sends a pass over the wolves have it against the wall stretch pass blocked in front Shot attempt completely fails on that. Change up, change up. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. The Wolves move it ahead. Here they come on the rush. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. And he loses control of the puck. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Wolves are on cruise control here late in the second. Simply look at the scoreboard, the shot count. It is all one-sided. Boston's got the puck inside the offensive zone. He scores! is tracking the puck and trying to get the sight lines, James. And with only one player in front, you might lose it for a second. But if you out-battle and out-will the person in front, you're going to find it. Unfortunately, this puck, it beats him clean. Boston's been feeling good all night long. And look at where we're at here. We're still in the late stage of the period here. Yeah, it's been an unbelievable game for them so far. I mean, they've just been so dominant offensively. Their opponent really doesn't know what to do. They're trying to slow the game down, but they can't because they're just on fire in terms of pace and dictating it. Easily turned aside with a pad save. And attendee's going to hang on and get a whistle here and a reset. Much needed one of that. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have just been taken control of in their own zone, James, and they needed this reset. They needed the goaltender to pounce on that puck. They can all collect themselves and get a line change. Let's it fly. Takes a shot. Oh, what a glove save there. He read that. The Wolves have been rewarded for all their scoring chances tonight as they carry the lead late in this second period. Boston's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. And that's off target as it hits a body. Ajo's got the puck in his own zone. Boston's gained possession. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. She's tracking the puck all the way from the shooter. And then when the rebound pops out, she's driving in the middle of the ice to find it, gets her stick on it, and buries it. The Wolves are laying the smack down on the opposition tonight as we near the intermission, but ooh, can't come soon enough at one end of the ice. Well, yeah, you know that their opponent certainly wants it, uh, an opportunity to reset and catch their breath. But for them, you know that they're going to go to that intermission. Now they're going to sit down, get out of rhythm. They don't want it disrupted. So you know that the leadership group's going to be talking about keeping the pedal to the metal. Boston's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Gives them nothing in front. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an 
intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Boston's got the win off that draw. Gaining momentum along the wing. Fires it! Denies him! Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Picked up along the wall by Pedersen. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. Both sides lining up for the face-off, and I can think of one padded goaltender who would love nothing more than a quick clear here, Cheryl. Oh, uh, you know it, James, because the puck has been in the offensive zone. Just look at the last shift, where they maintain pressure throughout that shift until they got that whistle. So they need to continue that, because if you're the opponent and you're saying, hey, who's most vulnerable right now? You know it's the goaltender, so you want to keep him hemmed in. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Witchhouse crossed the line and gained the zone. Orr's almost out of the box. Off the glove! Well, I love the save, James, but what I love more is the way that he can control the rebound. I mean, he doesn't give up much in front. No second shot opportunities. Witchhouse got the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Bishop. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Gains the zone from the right. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Go score! Right on the doorstep. No rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. These aren't the flash and dash goals, James, but they are effort related on a rebound, finding a way to get to that puck first, beating everyone else to it, and then putting it in the back of the net. The Wolves probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop, and they've been consistent throughout the game, and consistency is always the word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Hughes has it near the back end. Duhame's 
taking it from his own end. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. And we'll get a face-off after the offside call. Boston's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Gretzky's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Here's a shot, and he easily stops that one. Oh, what another stop! That's a fantastic sequence of saves there, James. He was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. The Wolves continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Esposito's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Goaltie recovers up and will get a faceoff. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Boston's got it and they're on the attack. And now they're trying that one. They score! Inside the neutral zone. Lays into the body on the play. Takes the puck along the boards. So someone's been up for the second of the night. Yeah, I expect that he's going to be looking for the Hattie because he's been all around the paint tonight, James, just showing off his skill set. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front, goaltender can't find it, and guess what? It's in the back of the cage. Boston's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game, and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night, and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence, and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. Answered the call there. Goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Boston's been way more active here tonight on the ice, and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Here he is on the backhand, and he was right there to make the stop on that play. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Boston's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. From the point, looks to make something happen. Grabs the puck. Puts the puck on net. Big save in front. Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Puts it on net. Oh, makes the save just better. Schneider along the half wall with the puck takes a shot that eyes him on the play down the left wing across into the offensive end and not much on that one and the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team Boston's coaches have to be pleased with what they've seen tonight. No short of scoring opportunities and no shortage of goals. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. And that's blocked away. Coming up, oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. 
Rogers boiling over late here, Cheryl. Boiling because there's certainly frustration as well. And when you're feeling frustrated, it's easy to just drop the gloves. And there's the takedown, and I think run a moment too soon, at least with one of these fighters. Yeah, if you're the one that's underneath and on the ice, you want to take your five-minute ticket and march yourself over to the penalty box and get your rest. Sometimes you hate to be on the other side of this. You know that your opponent, when they're getting blown out late in the game, they're going to be physical, they're going to get the fists up, a lot of myths going at it, and this is a product of frustration. You're getting blown out in the game, you're just trying to send a message. Gretzky's won the draw center. There's a shot. That's not going to fool him. Deuces Wild as that's his second of the game. Well, he's got two challenges on the score sheet, James, but I love this game off the puck as well. I think that he's had a hard nose on the floor check. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. As a goaltender, you're always working on different exercises, tracking with your eyes, foot movements, everything that power pushes you across the crease. And unfortunately, this time, he's just too slow getting across, and it hits him and goes to the back of the net. Boston's offense has put on a show tonight, and here they are in blowout mode late the third. Cheryl Pounder, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for playing.